All right, everyone, welcome back. We have Mark Ingram here available for you. Just as a reminder, please turn on your video feed if you're able so Mark can see you. And with that, we'll get it started with Dave Ginsburg. Hey, Mark, uh, good to see you. Uh, thanks for doing this. Uh, curious, this is your 10th NFL season upcoming. Uh, in relation to maybe your rookie year, how's your body feel? And in terms of your mind, how excited are you to get going uh, leading this running attack that last year set an NFL record? Well, my body feels great, man. Um, you know, I've just been doing a lot to make sure my body stays strong, stays explosive, um, lots of, you know, rehab, lots of treatment, lots of prehab, just making sure my body is physically in order. And mentally, I feel great. I feel sharp. Um, I know my assignment. I'm comfortable in my second year here in the offense. So um, mentally and physically, emotionally, I feel great. And I'm thankful for that in my 10th year. I'm blessed for that in my 10th year. And um, just in order to lead the rushing attack, you know, um, we have a great group of guys in the running back room. We have a great offensive line, great coordinators. And, um, you know, we, we broke the record last year, and we're trying to improve. We're trying to get better. So um, we'll be doing everything we can to try to uh, top that mark this year. And it's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of executing. Um, but we're looking forward to it. Um, hey, Mark, it's, uh, it's Mark Viviano from WJZ. For all the preparation you've been through, obviously nobody's prepared for a season quite like this. What unknowns are lingering before you guys take the field on Sunday, if any? Um, I think the main thing is the main thing, and, you know, we just know that we need to execute. We know that we need to know our, our game plan through and through. We need to know the ins and outs of it, the adjustments we need to make if we get certain looks. And um, I think everybody's focused on that. We need to go out there and make sure that we're mentally, physically, and emotionally prepared to play 60 minutes and fight 60 minutes against a tough divisional opponent. So um, I think the unknowns, uh, I think, you know, there's been no preseason games, so uh, nobody's had any, you know, live tackling action other than practice when we've had it. And um, I think just with no fans, I think uh, everybody's just going to kind of, you know, wonder how, you know, the game day atmosphere is going to be, you know, without fans and stuff. So, um, but the main thing is the main thing. We got to stay focused. We're focused on going to prepare ourselves to play our best football and, uh, you know, win a game against a tough divisional opponent here on Sunday. Hey, Mark, Mark this is Gary with the Ravens. Uh, just going back to your point about no fans, we know that on game day you're somebody who kind of brings that energy and, and brings that emotion. Do you feel like there's going to be even – you're going to have to bring it to another mm -hmm. level because you won't be able to, to lean on the fans for creating any of that, that atmosphere that we're used to on game days? Yeah, I think uh, you got to bring your own energy for sure. I think without it being fans, it's going to be something like a high school scrimmage, you know. Um, you know, you guys should get off the bus and you should meet a team on their field or they used to meet you on your field and there wasn't many fans, but, you doing, you know, pads was clacking, whistles blowing and, um, you know, making plays. So um, I feel like the energy, you know, that you get from the fans, I feel like, you know, our team, offense is going to have to be ruling the defense. Defense is going to have to be ruling the offense. Both offense and defense are going to have to be ruling the teams. We're going to have to make sure we keep our energy, uh, keep everybody up. You know, there's momentum swings throughout the flow of a game. So just to make sure we're keeping everybody up, keeping everybody energized, and keeping that positive attitude, I think that's going to be huge. And Mark, Pete Gilbert here at WSB Baltimore Sun. Um, you've, you've been one of the most uh, – sorry, sorry you, 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 you've been one of Lamar Jackson's biggest fans, I think. Um, how do you see him sort of carrying everything going into this season, given all the expectations that you guys are facing? Man, he's uh, – he, he he's the man. Uh, he handles um, outside noise and adversity great. Um, you know, the outside noise, um, the outside critics or the outside people that try to, you know, do anything, he doesn't pay attention to it. He stays focused on uh, the task at hand. He's focusing on trying to be the best quarterback he could be, the best player he could be, the best leader he could be, and he does a great job of it. Um, I feel like he's light years ahead right now of where he was at last year. So um, he's just going to continue to improve. He's going to continue to get better. He's going to continue to be more confident um, in his abilities within the offense, knowing the offense, knowing the ins and outs, the adjustments within the offense. Um, he's just continuing to grow. It's, it's special to be able to see it because um, I feel like he's a million times ahead of where he was at this point last year. So um, we're looking forward to it. And uh, he's just a good dude, man, great player. And, uh, you know, someone that I think everyone in this organization loves very much because of who he is and what he stands for. We have time for two more questions. Gilbert here with WBAL. 
They um, What's up? You know, you go back to last year's game against Cleveland when they came to, to Baltimore. That turned out, that was the turning point of your season because after that, you guys went on that incredible run. What do you take away from that game? Does anything from that game then help propel uh, for this week? Oh, yeah. I mean, they came in and they had a great game versus that day. Um, you know, they ran for a lot of yards. We let some big plays happen on defense. We turned the ball over on offense, um, didn't capitalize on some opportunities in the red zone on offense. So just not being able to hurt yourself. Can't turn the ball over. Got to limit their explosive plays, their big plays. Obviously got to limit their run game um, with Chubb and Kareem Hunt. You know, they have two good backs over there. So um, you just have to uh, – you know, limit them and not hurt ourselves. So I think those are, you know, a few of the big takeaways that we got from that first time they, uh, that we took the loss last year. Hey, hey Mark, it's Ryan right. Mink from Ravens Media. Is, is there, you mentioned their run game. Is there any desire on your part to prove, hey, you know, we, we set the NFL record. We we have the stronger run game, you know, in a battle of two two offenses that have really good, strong running attacks. Yeah. Well, of course, it's, you know, the Ravens versus the Browns. And, um, you know, it's way deeper than just, you know, a battle between the running backs. But that's always, you know, some battles within the battles. And um, obviously we want to prove that we're the best running back room in the league. And I'm always, you know, have a chip on my shoulder and a burning desire to prove that I'm one of the best running backs in the league. So um, that's something that never leaves me. That's something that uh, stays you know, at the forefront of my mind is, uh, of winning a battle within a battle and, you know, proving that we're the best running back group on the field. So um, we respect, you know, Chubb and Hunt and the Browns and uh, their, their their run game, but uh, we believe in our room. We believe in ourselves and our ability to be able to be the best. So uh, we, we strive to prove that week in and week out. All right, everyone, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, Mark, for being here. And to the media, we'll send you into waiting rooms and we'll be with our next availability shortly.